This is the house of the late Fats Domino. Domino got his start in 1947 when Billy Diamond, a New Orleans band leader, heard Domino play at a barbecue. He played so well that Diamond asked him to join his band. This was also the time when Antoine Domino Jr. received his iconic nickname, Fats. His home and his recording studio and office were destroyed by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. He lost just about everything he owned, including iconic pianos he played on. In January of 2006, they gutted the place and began remodeling it. Two of his pianos are on display at the Louisiana State Museum, one unrestored and one completely restored, his white Steinway grand piano. Today, the house isn't really much to look at and it's mainly used for storage. A lady walked up to me as I was filming and she said, you know, I didn't think people were even still interested in this old place. And I told her nobody will ever forget Fats Domino.